Hi right, folks, welcome back to the channel and welcome back for some more TGC 2019. Now, I'm going to give you a little reprieve from the TGC Tours uh, CC contest because we are going to do it this week's PGA Tour Stop, which is a John Deere classic at the TPC Deer Run. Now, I am going to be playing this on very hard, which typically I don't agree with because if you look at the way um, HP set up the very hard settings on the PGA Tour, it's just ridiculous. I mean, Bowies are very firm, the greens are very firm, the green speed is very fast, and you've usually got quite a high wind, but it's on medium here at the moment, which ain't too bad. But as you know yourselves, um, all PGA Tour events, they're not always set like that. All PGA Tour courses are not always set like that. Uh, for the majors, yeah, I agree with it, but... Hello and welcome to the Midwest for the John just... Classic. Get this out of the way. Have your company for this first round action. I'm Luke Elvey, and alongside me is John McCarthy. Hello, Luke. Glad to be here in uh, Silvis, Illinois, as we take in this action. Could you tell the folks at home a little bit about uh, what we can expect here on the first hole? TPC Deer Run starts with an uphill dog leg left par four. It's not a long hole at under 400 yards, so position off the tee is premium. Avoid those bunkers on both the left and right, and you'll give yourself a nice uphill shot to the green. A birdie here really sets the tone for your day. Thanks, Luke. We'll talk to you in a bit. Now, I am going to turn the commentary off in a minute. Just going to have a little look about here. Yeah, well, as I was saying, uh, the way HB sets up the, the, the very hard settings is just... Um, to me, it's, it's, it's more of a kind of a, a false... Uh, difficulty setting I think I mean you you haven't got hardly any bite on the ball when you go into these greens and you know yourself I mean I, I was watching some videos back from uh, the John Deere Classic from like the top 10 shots oh look at that uh, from the John Deere Classic and you had like Jordan Spieth um, going into the, one of the greens third shot puts it like 10 feet past the hole and spins back into the hole <laughs> we won't be able to do that on here but if I went down to the hard difficulty, uh, they do reduce the, the firmness a bit. But the AI doesn't score very well. Now, I don't expect to probably win this tournament. Just because I have got it on the, the very hard setting. But we shall give it a go. And let's get back onto the T and we shall get this started. And what I'll do, I'll actually turn the commentary off as well. I just wanted that. Little run in for you guys out. So let's go to the settings. Oh, audio, and we shall turn the commentary off and we'll get started. Now, TPC Deer Run is an 18 hole golf course in the central United States, located in Silvis, Illinois, along the Rock River. It is operated by the PGA Tour as a member of their tournament players club and network of golf courses and plays host to the annual John Deere Classic. Okay, so what we've got here, hole 1, 393 yards, par 4, stroke index 17. Now we're going to go with the driver here. Part of the tour's regular season schedule, it is usually held in July, the week preceding the British Open. And I imagine that's why all the big names aren't here, because I did have a look at the, the list who was actually playing here and you haven't got Alexa, there's no Jordan Spieth, there's no Kepka, McElroy, Woods, um, Dustin Johnson, Fowler, I think they're all taking a week off or they're all the way over to Europe getting ready for the, the Open. Okay, TPC Deer Run was designed as a stadium course by DA Webring Golf Courses in Association with PGA Tour Design Services and plays 7,258 yards a part of 71 from the championship tees okay we've got 93 yards it's actually playing run about 91 now i'm actually going to down loft it just a little touch counteract some of that wind out and we're going a bit of a slope right to left so aim just a little bit right of the pin that is not bad Okay, the course record is 59, shot by Paul Agoidos in the opening round of the John Deere Classic in 2010. Okay, nice start. Start off with the birdie. Now, I have set this up for a four-round tournament, 
uh, what I'll do is I'll record the first round. So here we got here. Chono Ha, Lee Hatong, Anibrin Lahiri, Bo Hustler, Bubba Watson, Brian Gay, Alex Norrin, Gary Woodland there as well. Yeah, as I said, I've got four rounds set up here. What I'll do, I'll record the first round. I might do a highlight reel or something in the second and third round, unless you say in the comment section you want to see me play in the second and third rounds. I mean, I watch people playing this game uh, on Twitch and things like that, but I couldn't sit and watch them playing four rounds of the same course straight after one another. Uh, that'd be boring to me. So if you want, I'll do the first round and fourth round. I can do a little highlight reel of the second and third round. Uh, let's see what you guys want. Okay, so we've got here hole two, 563 yards, par five, stroke index seven. It should be good just to hit the ball straight down now. This is a very nice course though, I do like this. This is one of HB's official courses for the PGA Tour events. I think it's seven in total. Okay, 236. Now, I'm going to go with the full hybrid here, because I think this green evidence should slope down towards the hole, yep. So I think probably could make it onto the green with this. That wind should push it onto the green, and it should run down towards the hole. I'm actually going to put a little bit of E loft on it, just try and get it run a little bit further towards the hole. Yeah, the wind's pushing it out. But I want that to come back. Oh no, come on. Uh, we'll hit the green. No, come on. There's a little slope. So we're halfway that. It's not going to make it. That's going to leave us quite a big downhill part, I think. Okay, what have we got here? 44 feet. One foot down. Everything's going right to left. Now, typically, I just want to get this close to the hole and try and pick up the birdie. As you see, the greens are 187. Now, there's a little slope there. Let's just hit it now. Oh, and that's going way left to the pin. Hopefully, we can pick up the birdie here. I didn't think it'd go that far left. Wow. Okay, what have we got here? Nine feet, three inches up. Okay, we pick up the birdie, so that's not too bad. Hole three, 181 yards, par three, stroke index nine. Okay, 183, 37 up, so it's playing around about 195. I think we should be good. Let's see which way the, the green is going here. It's not too bad. That should run right up towards the pin. Oh, and right past the pin. See what I mean? You just got, you get no bite on your irons at all. I mean, that was a six iron. You should have got... A, a little bit of play on that. 27 feet past. Okay, 27 feet, one inch down. Let's just try and get this up here and take away the part. Yeah, these 187 greens are going to be killer. Especially with a very firm as well. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, I thought I'd missed that. I really do hope uh, if they do bring out a TGC 2020, they, they do do something with the PGA Tour. Uh, they've got to have a different, they've got to have variation when you're playing, not the, like, the Opens and things like that and the Majors. They've got to have variation on these courses. Everything shouldn't be playing like this. Oh, four, 448 yards poor, par four, stroke index three. And also what I would say as well, uh, if they do bring out another one, they should really get some of these top designers from the community to come in and, or send them a, you know, a, a, like a, 
a beta code and so they can work on these top courses because I mean these are some of the areas around here is pretty rough I mean you look around that bunker there uh, top design the top community designers wouldn't let that go like that they'd smooth all that out you just make it look a lot more tidier Okay, nice drive. Okay, 308 yards. That is going to leave us with a little look. 141, so it's actually playing 140. We'll go here, 136 for the pitching wedge. I'm actually going to, ooh, 148. So what I'll do is I'll go with a 9 iron. But we'll put a bit of loft on it. Oh, I thought I hit a faster. That was so close to being a fast if you look at that marker. I mean, look at that. That's a 9 iron. I put loft on it and it still ran forward about 10 feet. Should pick up the birdie. Nice. Okay, so what we got? E Hatong is minus ten after eighteen. And Irban Lahiri is minus nine after eighteen. Charles Howes the third is coming in at minus nine on the seventeenth. Sean O'Hare minus eight on the eighteenth. We're at minus three, so just need to be careful what we do. Because you could easily Drop a few shots on these kind of settings. Okay, hole five, 424 yards, par four, stroke index five. Okay, six mile an hour in from behind us. Uh, we're going to drop it down to the two wood here. Should be pretty safe. It's probably going to kick over to the right here. I did want to be up closer to them bunkers. Looked out a little bit flatter up there. I'm going to be on quite a big left to right slope with this one here. Going into the green. Okay, pitching wedge 136 and it is playing 127. Oh, no, 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 no. I think I am actually going to come down to... Yep, I'm going to go with the gap wedge here. Oh, big slope. I forgot about that. 129, so it's playing 127. I think that should be pretty good, you know. That should be pretty bang on distance. I'm going to move that just a little bit more. Okay, come on. Be the club. Oh, come on. Pull back, pull back. Again, going in with a gap wedge. And with it pitched. Pitched right up by the pin. And it's went 13 feet past. I actually pitched before the pin. Look, there's a pitch mark there. And it's gone 13 feet. So that's like 14, 15 feet that's just traveled. Okay, 13 feet, 4 inches down. I'm just going to have to tap this because I do not want to go past this pin. So just a little tap. Oh, and it's missed on the right hand side, and it's gonna, it might even go off, you know. Yep, there it goes. Oh ho ho! Yeah, it's so easy to pick up shots on this, especially at 187 greens. Now, I'm actually gonna putt this. Come on. Oh, thank goodness for that. Nice save. Or was that a save? I'm going to have to have, I'm sure it was. 06, 362 yards, par 4, stroke index 13. Again, probably going to drop a little bit short here. Let me just check. Yeah, that was a par, that's okay. 
it going to drop down. I'm actually going to drop way down to the 4 hybrid here because of that wind as well. And the fairways are very firm. Uh oh, slow. That's going to push out to the right. Hopefully, I moved it enough. Oh no, that's going in the rough. Damn. Oh no, hold on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> what a lucky little bounce that was. Okay, 122. You're playing one around about 124. Let's put a little bit of loft on it. Can't wreck that wind. Okay, that's nice. Come on, ball. Get some bite on you. Yeah, even with your wedges, you, you're having to lay up. I don't know, 10, 15, I mean, yeah, 10, 15 feet shorter. Just so they run up. Okay, 15 feet. Yeah, 14 feet. Tell you what, I'm kind of hoping, oh, that's a bad miss. Um, if they do do a TDC uh, 20, uh, they're with 2K now. I really do hope they go with a new engine. Uh, 2K can supply them with a new engine. I think they've gone as far as they can with the um, Unity engine. Either that or they're going to have to get people in that can up it a little bit more, get some more out of it. Because I think they've gone as far as they can. I mean, it's still a good looking game, but 2019, 2020 is looking a little, the graphics are looking a little bit dated, I think. Unless, well, mind you, if you look at that course, uh, Lake Sophia I did the other day, wow. You wouldn't say the graphics are a little bit dated, but yeah, I do think that it needs to change over to a new engine or the upgraded or upgraded version of Unity. I mean, if you look on YouTube at some of the graphics for Unity, it's looking amazing. Okay, 231, uh, 13 down. So it's actually playing around about 227. 216, I don't know. Oh, I didn't even, oh, that's not going to be enough, I don't think. Oh, 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 that's going to be way too much on these greens. I'm going to have to go with this. I'm going to have to put full loft on it. Look at the size of that bar. Luminic. I'm going to have to try and cut it past this tree as well, I reckon. Come on. Yeah, way too much of that. Not as bad as I thought, though. I thought I'd go right off the back. <clears throat> I suppose putting that little bit of draw on it took a little bit of distance off as well. Okay, what we got here? What? Why is that giving me a chip? I'm on the green. What the hell? Strange. Pin's still in as well. Ooh, a bit of a little bug there. Must be like a little patch of fairway there or something. It says I'm on the fringe. I'm not on the fringe. Am I? Let me have a look. No. Fringe is like over there. <laughs> That's a little bug. Okay. What we got here? So it's 13 feet, 5 inches down. Okay. Another little tap here. Oh, what a putt. Nice putt. i seen how little I hit that there. Just tap that. Okay, hole 8. 439 yards. Par 4 stroke index 11. Yeah, I mean, you look at that cart path there. You look at all them wavy lines on the, the on the edges there. Yeah, your community designers wouldn't, wouldn't release a course like that. I'm not drinking my coffee. Well, a lot of the top designers wouldn't anyway. Okay. Oh, shit. I should have had my little practice swing that I used to do it and I didn't. Wow, that was one hell of a very fast. Okay, 152, playing 155. 96, I'm going to go with the AI on here. Yeah, don't want to start doing things like that. Oh, that's going to roll off, I think. Come on. 
Oh, 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 so close. I thought it was going to stay on. Now that's going to be downhill. No, it's not. Pretty flat. I'm actually going to pop that. Oh, it is downhill. Look, four inches. So what we've got here? 22 feet, five down. Come on, come on, turn. Stay that. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm so tentative on 187 greens, I really am. Okay, still on minus four, going on to the ninth. 485 yards par four stroke index one. Yeah, that's my little practice swing there. It really does help me with my tempo. And also sometimes when you're doing that little swing, if you, do, you swing straight off, you sometimes get that little sort of frame drop and that can screw up your tempo as well. That's why I always do that little sort of, excuse me, that little practice swing that I've got. K199 is playing 198. Still way, oh, I'm gonna put a lot of loft on this again. That's one of the reasons why I don't like putting loft on hybrids. I pushed it out to the right a bit and look how far it went out. So we're on the green now. We're there for a putt. I don't know if I'll get it. Looks like it's going to be pretty tough. 31, 5 up. Under hit that just a little bit. Okay, how are we doing here? Oh, Mark Leishman's come in minus 11 after 15. Blooming neck. Um, I don't think I'm going to catch that. <laughs> okay, oh, 10, 585 yards, par 5, stroke index 8. Quite a nice par five, this one. It is a lovely course, though. Okay, you've got the wind with us, so that's going to help us a little bit. Okay, let's smash the driver down here. Do love them little T-pegs, though. Little tractors. Okay, nice big drive. 320 yards, so I wonder if we're going to be able to reach, I think we should be able to reach this green. 266. Yeah, we will. We might even go past it, to be honest. I just didn't want to go right there. So that might actually go past the hole. Oh, right past the hole. So that's going to leave us a little chip. Oh crap, 8% power, didn't want to do that, I wanted about maybe 70% now, just went past quite a bit. That leaves us with a tough little pup for the, the birdie, come on. Oh we get it though, nice. That drops us to minus 5. Mark Leishman, minus 11 after 16. Kind of hoping he drops a shot here. Or two. <laughs> okay, hole 11, 426 yards, par 4, stroke index 6. Okay, going to lay up here. Going to go with the two wood.
Okay, that's not bad. 279 yards with a two root. That was going to leave us with 159 to the, the pin. Seven mile an hour coming in from the right hand side. So let's put a little bit of loft on this. Oh, that was a terrible swing. Okay, 13 feet, 2 inches down. Oh, just missed on the left hand side. That was so close. I just rode over the top of the edge of the hole there. That should have been a birdie. That's the thing as well, because the greens are that fast, um, you actually hit them a lot softer, so they take a lot more of the break. If you try and hit them with a little bit of firmness and you miss, oh, you, you could leave yourself a big pop um, back as well. K hole 12, 209 yards, par 3, stroke index 12. K 216, so it's playing about 213. Which way the green going? It's going left to right. We're going to go with the 6 hybrid here. 213. So I'm going to put a little bit of loft on this. Oh shit. Uh oh. Sorry about that, but I think I could be in a lot of trouble here. No, oh, no, no, no. Oh, that's not too bad. I thought with that slow, that was going to push it right over and down that bank. You apologize for the word? <laughs> Okay, Ooh, 42, one up. So, and everything's going right to left, all the way up there. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's nowhere near. Nowhere near. So we've got to, got to get the save here. And we do it. Nice, pretty flat putt, that one. Yeah, as I was saying, um, if 2K hopefully gets them to move over to another engine. I mean, if you look at it, like, I'd love to see a cameraman in one of them camera towers. Or oh, this day and age, we should not be calling them camera persons, I suppose. K hole 13, 418 yards, purple, struck index 18. Okay, going to aim down this left hand side here. The wind should bring it into the middle of the fairway for us. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, I'm going to be doing a four round. Oh, four rounds are going to be um, this, this certain. Yeah, very fast fairway, uh, uh, very firm fairway, very fast greens, and very firm greens. Okay, 104, uh, it's playing 106, but again, if I dropped it down to hard, it moves your T forward, and the AI don't score very well. Okay, 94, so that's playing, doo -doo -doo -doo. 108, that's playing 106. I think we'll go with that. Okay, that's not too bad. Hopefully we'll pick up the birdie. And we do. Nice one. A hole 14, 357 yards, par 4, stroke index 16. A downhill tee shot here. Going to aim it over to this right hand side. Now, 
hopefully that's going to leave us just a little flop shot. Oh, that's going to run out. That's going to go into the first cut. Nope, it's going to go into the heavy cut. Heavy rough. And that leaves us 32 and 1 up. Okay, 30 yard flop. Oh, ho, ho, ho. just made it onto the green now. I should have bumped it up to the 36 there, but I thought if I hit like a slow or a fast downswing, it was going to go way over the top. Okay, 21 feet. Two inches down. Oh, again, just missed on that left hand edge. Whew. So easy to lip out as well on these greens. I mean, I just missed that, but it is so easy to lip out. Whew, I thought I'd missed that one and all. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna, not going to catch Leishman, I don't think. So what are we? We're six. Oh, Jesus, he's just went up to 13 under. You see what I mean? Uh, the AI on very hard settings are hitting like 13 under and you're hitting off very firm greens, very fast greens, very firm fairways. And I bet you in the second, third and fourth round, you're going to have some really high wins as well. Uh, it's just, it's, it's like a, it's a false um, difficulty, I think. Okay, nice drive. A okay, little bit of a right to left slope, yeah. 156 playing 159. I'm still gonna put a little bit of loft on this, even though we've got a bit of wind. Come on. Oh, maybe just a little bit too much loft there. <laughs> Okay, 14 feet, one inch down. Oh, again, on that left hand edge. The low side. I'm sure I moved that way enough to the right there. Okay, hole 16 is the signature hole of TPC Deer Run. Nice little par 3 this. Hole 16, 153 yards, par 3, stroke index 14. Okay, 5 mile an hour in the face. Lane 152. Ooh, 152. Right. Gotta go full loft on this. Oh, maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> That's about seven yards short. Twenty one feet, three inches up. All right, I'm always missing on the low side, so I'm going to move it a little bit more. Nope, didn't hit it enough. Oh dear. I've got a lot of work to do in the second and third rounds. There's no way I'm going to catch them unless they have pure blowout in the second and third rounds, to be honest. I mean, look at that. Minus 13, minus 10, minus 10, minus 9s. Oof. Okay, hole 17, 553 yards, par 5, stroke index 10. Yeah, I mean, it's when you play these on, like, your, your solo society, you can still change uh, the firmness and the speeds of the greens and stuff like that. That's all it needs. The, the firmness of the fairways is fine. It's the greens. You just, you, there's no bite on the greens at all. K 
Okay, nice drive. That pin is sitting right behind that bunker, so I don't know if we're going to go for the green and two here. We'll have a look. Okay, 229. How's the green running? Oh, the green is running everything left to right, so that could... Oh, that might be good. 229. That's playing around about 234. 216. I'm going to have to go with the 216. That should feed it around towards the hole. Oh, you got to be kidding me. You hit it fast. Hopefully, come on, kick onto the green. Oh, no, it's going to come off that edge of that. Damn. And the tempo's been really good all the way around as well. And then I hit a fast when I want to hit. Whoa. Okay, 15 yards or one foot down. I'm going to put this down to the lob wedge because there's just too much run on the ball. As you see, and that was a nine yard carry, 15 yards to the pin, and it's went 22 yards off the green. Jesus Christ. Okay, 21, 9 up. That's playing 24. I have to put some loft on this. Oh, look at that. Spin back. Wow. You see that? Like, spun back about 3 inches. That was a par. That should have been a birdie. Damn. K hole 18, 465 yards, par 4, stroke index 4. It's a lovely hole, this one, as well. I mean, it, is, it really is a really nice course. I should have played it on hard settings, though. But, and then it's too easy. There's just no sort of middle ground, I don't think. And plus it moves your T forward as well. I think when you're playing these, uh, even the PGA Tour, you should be able to set it up to the way you want it set up. Like, I'd put the, I'd put these greens on, uh, like, medium firmness to get a bit of bite on them. Like I said, I watched some of the videos back, and these guys were just... Throwing darts in and spinning back 10, 15 feet and things like that. K173. 8 mile an hour wind against us though. So let's down loft this. Counteract some of that wind. Okay, come on. Let's see if we can get a birdie on the final. Oh, it's going to lead a bit left to the pin here. But that's not bad. Okay, 10 feet, 3 inches up. Okay, we finished with a birdie. It pisses on minus 7. Long way behind the leaders, though. Well, Leishman's on minus, what, 13? So, as I said, guys, this is set up for a, a four-round match. I'll probably just batter through the second and third rounds and record the fourth round. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I'll get back onto the CC contest courses after I do this, of course. And then we've got um, the Open next week as well. So that's going to be, I'm look, really looking forward to that. I haven't played the course yet. I uh, want to wait until I'm actually doing a video. So there you go, guys. That's the first round of the John Deere Classic at TPC Deer Run. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you again next time. Thanks for watching. Mark Leishman, minus 13, 58. Wow, look at that. Got the course record. <laughs>